In this chapter, we will understand how we can create a circle pattern in our shader. When we will create a circle in the Unity shader, it would look something like this. So this is our UVY and this is UVX, a texture coordinate Y and texture coordinate X. To create the circle pattern, we will understand equation of circle and we will understand what does it mean for a pattern of a shader. This is a depiction of a circle that we want to draw. And what we are going to do is we will be creating this circle using alpha values. So what does this mean is if this is the radius of the circle and this is the border of the circle. Any point that comes within this radius will have alpha equals to 1 or any point outside of this area will have alpha equals to 0. Any point that is located at the R distance from the center of the circle is the border. The point which is situated at R distance from the center of the circle is border of the circle. So now let's derive the equation of the circle using Pythagorean theorem. And if we will draw a line from the center of the circle and from the point perpendicular to the base. So this becomes a right angled triangle and our yellow line is the base of the right angled triangle. Let's draw the axis from the center of the circle as well. So we know for a general graph, this is the y axis and this is the x axis. And let's call this point as y dash and let's call this point as x dash. So based on the Pythagorean theorem, r, which is the radius, is the hypotenuse of the triangle. So radius square is the perpendicular. The perpendicular is rp, which is this pink line here, rp square plus rb, which is the base of this circle. These are the notations that we are using to represent the lines. So to understand rp, let's mark the beginning and the ending point of the line. So this pink line ends at y double dash. And it starts at y dash. Similarly, rb starts at x dash and it ends at x double dash. So what is rp? rp becomes y double dash minus y dash because it begins with y dash not 0. So from this complete line, we will subtract this portion and this portion is y dash. So RP becomes Y double dash minus Y dash square and RB becomes X double dash minus X dash equals to radius square. And this is what the equation of the circle is. Now instead of using X dash and Y dash notations, we will use the variables that we are going to use in our shader so that we can directly translate this equation to our code. So let's hide this for a minute and create our radius line again. And what this center of circle means to us is in this UV space, create the circle at an offset value. So for the center of the circle, this is an offset Y and this is an offset X. In this axis X and Y, this value is offset x and this value becomes y offset and now we draw our perpendicular and base so this is perpendicular and this is base and now we will translate our equation radius square is equals to rp square plus rb square so what is rp rp is in y axis line so it will become the uv y minus offset dot y square plus rb is in the x axis so uv dot x minus offset dot x square
Instead of offset, you can also call it center so that when we pass center X and Y, our shader would know where to draw the circle from. So you can also translate this equation equals to radius square. Radius will be the property that we will